hi everybody and welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel thank you so much for tuning in please do not leave without pressing the subscribe button and hitting that notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a new video if you're not new to my channel thank you so much for tuning in and i hope you all enjoy today's video so for today's video i am going to be trying out and rating the elizabeth arden foundation okay the box is white so you're not gonna see but it's the elizabeth arden flawless finish skin carrying foundation and i'm going to be basically rating it and telling you guys what i think about it i've already tried this foundation twice and gone out with it so my opinion is going to be based on me going out with it and my application today obviously also Elizabeth Arden Flawless Finish Skin Care Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid Vitamin and Vitamin C and E and okay let me look at the box and tell you guys what this foundation promises if you want to know how I choose my foundations and why I choose my foundations I do have a video on my channel which I am going to put up in the cards you can check it out on what I do or the technique not really the technique or rather how I choose foundation and the thought process that comes to that so this foundation says it's medium buildable coverage with natural finish for all skin types skincare meets skin perfection with a nourishing foundation with hyaluronic acid and vitamin c and e this foundation delivers up to 24 hours of coverage without settling into fine lines to use smooth onto face and shake well before use so this is the foundation and this is what it looks like and i'm going to show you guys basically how it looks like i love it i love the i love the packaging it's got this matte glass to it it looks very chic it looks very luxe obviously this is a high-end foundation and so it gives off high-end it's basically my first entry into high-end makeup and that is something that i want to try and gear towards so this is what it looks like the cost of this foundation was 620 rands i got it at foshini um i'm not particularly sure where you can get the foundation i think you could get it for foshini at the edgar's um, makeup area and i think true's makeup area i'm not sure about uh discam and clicks because this is not a drugstore foundation as i said but you know sometimes the skin and clicks does go towards the high end so you never know but i don't think you can get it there but i do know you can get it at like re retail stores where they have like those makeup sections so i'm talking about your woolworths your edgar's and your truworths and for Shini, obviously, because that's where I got it. So let's get into this foundation. So the shade that I got was the shade 520 Warm. It's a little bit on the dark side, but um, I was struggling to get my shade. It was either something that was too light for me or too dark. So this was basically the perfect middle in terms of my shade so i'm 520w i don't know if there is a shade that could be a little bit lighter but still warm that could fit me but i know how to basically work around it and make it look perfect basically so before i get started obviously i am going to be priming and i'm using my isabella garcia instagram primer I got this with skincare that I'm going to be unboxing in a vlog that's going to come up after this video. So I'm just going to prime my skin. So I'm going to take the foundation and I'm just going to take a pump or I'm actually going to go with two pumps because I actually want to build the coverage. So I'm using my Real Techniques um, 
expert face brush i love this brush it just does the dams so i'm gonna take some and as you can see it kind of is a perfect match even though it's more on to the like darker side i'm looking at myself at on my laptop which i use as a monitor and it kind of gives off it gives off matching but kind of like a little bit dark but i'm gonna build on that obviously so there we go oh and the coverage is fire okay guys so as you can see this has given me a little bit of a medium to full coverage because it is buildable i built on it and i am liking how it looks it's not it's not giving too dark on my skin tone because i do know that this color is a little bit teensy weensy on the dark end but it's not so bad that it's giving orange or it's turning me red i think i love the way it looks and the coverage is actually quite good it has covered up some of my imperfections because i do have a lot of hyperpigmentation on my skin but obviously when i highlight and contour and i conceal and everything everything is going to look good in a final product i also want to comment on how the foundation moves with the rest of the products but that is something that i will talk about at the end of this video i'm going to be setting the foundation with a translucent powder and then i'm going to do the rest of my face um i'm gonna go through the rest of my face and show you guys the products that i use however i'm not going to talk you guys through it this is not a beauty tutorial this is basically a foundation review so as much as i'm going to show you what i do to do my face i don't think there's a need for me to talk through it so let's get this started hey y'all i know that i said i'm not gonna talk through this portion of the video however my camera battery went flat so i could not record myself doing my full face so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to show you guys the products that i use in order to get my complete look in case you would like to get the products and try and maybe emulate the look that i'm doing or try and use the products because you're seeing how good they look on my face To highlight and contour, I used the L'Oreal Infallible Concealers in the shades Cedar and Coco and I set my highlight using the Yardley Absolute Translucent Loose Powder um, in the color Deep Beige. To remove the powder that I had set my highlight with, I used the Fit Me Maybelline uh, pressed powder in the color Cinnamon and I set my contour using the Yardley Pressed Infant Complexion Powder in the color Cocoa as well. I then blushed my face using the Palladio blush that you can get at Discam in the color Toasted Apricot. It's only 100 Rand. I love this blush so much. And then I used mascara and eyeliner from Isabella Garcia and then used a liquid lipstick from Wet n Wild in this deep mauve color and in the nude in order to complete my look and then to gloss myself up I used my Isabella Garcia Lustrous Lip Gloss and I set my face using the Maybelline Fixing Spray By the way, my makeup. Oh, I'm cheesy. Anyway, so this is my final look for this video using the Flawless Finish Skincare Skincaring Foundation. 
and wow guys when i tell you this foundation is everything and more like kayon's influence is just beyond amazing and one thing about her she will not recommend products that aren't great this was absolutely amazing i love this foundation as i've said i have used this foundation twice already i am going to show pictures of the looks that i used it on once when i went out with my friends at night and then yesterday i used it as well when i went out for lunch and let me tell you the staying power of this foundation is absolutely amazing and whatever you do to try and like not make it move using setting spray or fixing spray and using powders just to make sure that it doesn't move and it stays in the same place especially considering that we're wearing masks it works it works so i love this foundation i seriously think that it is worth it what, another thing i love about it is the fact that it does not move when you applying other products so as soon as i set it with that uh, translucent uh loose powder it did not go anywhere so sometimes i have an issue with foundations where they like to shift especially when i highlight and i contour they shift and you can see little patches on your face but this foundation did not do anything like it did not move it stayed in place it it was just perfect it's perfection in a bottle i would definitely give it 10 out of 10 it's my new fave i'm gonna keep using it because it does the dams am i gonna move away from drugstore foundations such as my revlon's color stays my maybelline super stays no but this is definitely getting into the roster because i definitely love it and it just makes everything look good i especially love the coverage and the fact that it's buildable so if you want a skin like finish you can achieve that if you want a full coverage type of finish you can achieve that and apparently it's also good for your skin so it's like a foundation slash skincare hybrid so that's definitely something that i would recommend for you to buy if ever you're looking into an entry into high-end makeup this is my entry into high-end makeup and i absolutely love it guys i don't i don't i don't have anything more to say except for you are seeing the results yourself you see you saw how the foundation looked as soon as i applied it you are seeing my final look so i definitely think that this is a foundation that you guys should get that is it for my video today guys thank you so much for tuning in please comment down below if you're going to be getting the foundation if you have already used the elizabeth arden foundation share with me if it is or, or share with me your experience of it in the comments down below comment anything else that you would like for me to try out and um share with you guys or rate it on my channel is in a in a similar setting or in a similar way as i've rated this foundation and until next time guys thanks you so much for tuning into my channel please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and comment down below on anything else that you'd like for me to try and review on my channel thank you until next time bye